Okay, let's begin our second challenge. Uh, in front of me, I have a complex five to one mechanical advantage system. Now the challenge is, uh, a commenter said that this is not a five to one, this is a three to one because he was counting strands, one, two, three, to the load. Uh, keep in mind, this is a complex system and really the only way to truly calculate complex systems is to count tensions, okay? But I'm also gonna show you two different ways to prove that this is a five to one. Now, caveat here, these pulleys are highly efficient, but they're not perfect. Um, we're gonna assume the weight has, the rope has no mass. Friction isn't in effect, you know, so you have to assume some things when you're counting tensions, okay? But um, we're gonna get close enough for me to prove what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna step back and let's look at the whole system. We have our 25 pound weight. That's what we're raising. I have a pulley and a rope grab, another rope grab and a pulley, and then the stationary pulley at the anchor, which is at the top. Okay, so I've drawn this out. If this is confusing, this is it right here. And let's go ahead and do the T method to figure out what this is. This diagram is this rope system right here. Okay. All right. Well, we start at our input, which is going to be this strand right here. That's what we're going to be pulling on. So we have one tension starting out. So we get to the first pulley, got tension here, comes around that pulley, a tension on the opposite side because they have to cancel each other out. So at the rope grab, you're going to have two tension. Okay, we have to count those two together. So that means right here, we have two T, okay? That tension goes around the first pulley, goes to the second pulley, tension in, tension out. That's putting two T at the second rope grab, which is gonna be right here, okay? Okay, that single tension continues up this line. We're, right now we're on this strand right here. It's gonna encounter the first rope grab. Okay, so that tension hits the 2T. Remember, we always add the, these two together, so that's 3T at the stationary pulley. So this T comes up, hits the 2T on this, it becomes a 3T. 3T at this pulley, goes around the pulley, they have to equal each other out. It's 3T coming through. Okay, so that 3T comes down until it hits the second rope grab. Okay, 3T coming in, 3T coming out. It's 3T at this rope grab. We Remember, there's already 2T on the rope grab, so 3 3T plus 2T is five tension. So this is a five to one system. Remember, we got one tension going in, five tension at the load. Okay, that's the first proof that this is a five to one system. It's a complex system. Remember, you always have to do the tension system for a complex system, okay? All right, here's our second proof. If you notice down here, I've got, if you look down here, I've got from the floor to this mark right here, I got 12 inches, that's a foot. And on the side here, I've got a mark here, and a mark down here, that is five feet. Okay, so what that means is it's a five to one system so in order to raise that weight off the floor, I had to pull five feet of tail, okay? So let's go ahead and do that and see if that ratio doesn't maintain itself. Okay, so I got a piece of tape. I'm gonna put a little tension to get the slack out of the system. Okay, if you notice, 
This piece of tape is right here at the top of the five foot mark. I'm gonna put this rope clamp above it so we can keep it, okay? Now you saw where we started. I'm gonna take this tape all the way down to our second mark, okay? A little bit. Okay, so there's my tape at the end of the five foot mark. So I have pulled this tail five feet. Let's see if our weight isn't at the foot mark. Okay, we straighten our weight up. If we look, I'm exactly at one foot. Okay, hopefully this camera's picking everything up. Okay, so second piece of evidence. This is a five to one. Okay. Let's take this rope grab off. And we might just leave it. Okay, here's our third piece of evidence. I've got a, just a luggage, uh, a luggage scale here. Now this is, uh, this is a cheap scale, so it's not gonna be perfectly precise. But let's do the math. If my weight is 25 pounds, and it's a five to one, the weight I'm pulling should be roughly five pounds, right? Five times five is 25. So what we'll do is we'll hook it and then we'll turn it on, make sure it's at zero. Okay, everybody see that? At zero, I'll pull it. So this is holding the weight. We'll leave it, it should set and give it a minute to hold it. And let's see what we got. 4.59 pounds. Not quite five pounds, but it's close enough. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's 4.59 pounds. So again, the ratio, it's not perfect, um, but it's close enough for me. And this is a cheap scale too. Okay, so there you go. Three proofs of concept here. The ratios are holding, the weights, the weights, the forces are ratioing out to five and one. The distance is the correct ratio is maintaining and the T method proves that this is a five to one haul system. Hope this helps, uh, especially the person that commented um, that this is a three to one. It's not a three to one, it's a five to one. All right, thanks for watching.